Alright, we're starting to figure this out here. We've got the two select bits which allow us to control which areas of the controller we need to pull. Right now it's set up for the X, Y, Z, and R shoulder buttons. Fantastic. We want to switch this configuration so that we can pick out, for example, A, B, C, and start. Then we need to set the select zero bit to be high. That's right. So right now it's tied to ground, which is low. Jigger in here. Alright. Show time with ABC. Fabulous. And if we want the directional pad, we're going to have to reverse that uh, bit order there. Select 0 needs to be low, select 1 needs to be high. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Holy crap. Down. two hands. Alright, you're freaking ready. Up, left, down, oh, down, right. Sorry, I had left and right reversed. serious business going on here. Okay, so this is the basic pinout going. And you can see these ones don't work right now. Since the select bits aren't set up for those. So the idea is we're gonna replace those damn wires. This here, select zero, select one, with a microcontroller. That microcontroller is going to pull at a very fast rate for the different pin configurations. Uh, and then basically we're going to read off the data lines, which are these four bits right here. It's going to be awesome. And then we're going to translate it to... We're going to translate it to work with the 360, which means encoding it to USB format. So I think that's enough work for the first day. Uh, that's about it.